So when your banjo kit arrives, it's probably got the hoop and the, the fretboard together. You're going to want to take them apart so that you can paint the hoop and uh, put some sort of wood finish on the fretboard. I'm going to set the fretboard aside for now. Um, this is your hoop. This is the part that's going to have the top glued onto it, the part where the notches are. So we need to paint everything except this top uh, surface of the, de of the uh, hoop. Uh, we use a black paint, latex semi-gloss paint, the kind of quality of paint you'd use on your kitchen or bathroom. It has some water resistance to it. Um, what I've done before painting here is I've sanded this edge with some rough sandpaper. Uh, as if you can imagine, I have some sandpaper on my fingers. I've kind of gone around and sanded it. Sanded this part here, because that's the part that's going to be against your body when you play. You want that to be kind of smooth. And you'll probably have to do a little touch-up sanding on that after you put your first coat of paint on. So there's, there's no real perfect way to do this without getting some on your fingers. So once your uh, cardboard hoop is dried for, uh, I don't know, four or five hours, nice and dry, you may want to pick up, you may find that the paint has kind of raised the grain of the, of the cardboard and made it a little rough. And since that's the part of the banjo that's going to be touching against your sweater or your shirt, uh, it's good to do a little sanding on this, uh, any part that got rough, and that's going to be this uh, outer edge of the and what will be the bottom and exposed edge of the hoop. Then you want to repaint either the whole hoop or just the section you sanded.